how lapis forms. I've been asked about 50 times to do lapis now, so in five easy, beginner-friendly steps, I give you how lapis forms. Formation, mixing, transformation, cooling, and then extraction. Lapis lazuli. Actually, in fact, before we get going, let's do a little caveat on pronunciation, because every single time that I do a video on lapis, there's always somebody who slides themselves unlubricated into the comment section to insist that I don't pronounce it how they do. So, in order to cater to absolutely everyone, I'm just going to try and pronounce it differently at intervals throughout this live video. Got it? Let's move on. Lapis lazuli forms extremely deep within the Earth's crust and usually forms in regions that are characterised by quite significant geological activity. And before we move too much further, it's probably important to mention that this is not a crystal, contrary to how it is often held up within the crystal and mineral industry. It is in fact a rock, meaning it's a combination of various different minerals. So this process is going to unfold in environments where temperatures are notoriously high and pressures notoriously intense. And these conditions are crucial because they basically facilitate the chemical reaction necessary for the ultimate formation of lapis lazuli. Lapis lazizizi is primarily composed of several key minerals. Again, like I mentioned earlier, this is not a crystal, it's a rock. So it's basically an amalgamation of various different materials, as opposed to something slightly more homogenised. Now the most important part of this is going to be things like lazurite, which is going to imbue it with that beautiful blue colour. Sometimes this is sodalite mixed in, but rarely. Now, there is also other minerals that accompany lazurite. These are going to include calcite, which often appears as white veins or patches along the surface of the lapis, or pyrite, which will manifest as forms of golden specks or flecks within the blue matrix. Now, these minerals, once they come together over vast periods of time, often millions of years, make lasses lasababa. One of the key components of the underlying formation of lasagna lazuli is metamorphism. Now, if you don't know what this is, it's essentially where existing rocks undergo profound changes. And this is because of heat and pressure, like I said earlier. Now, initially, these minerals may have been part of different rocks. Now, through metamorphism, i.e. change, these minerals recrystallize and then consolidate into lapis lazambambabam. After this very intense period of pressure and heat, as soon as they've done their work, the newly formed lapis lazi woo 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 undergoes a gradual cooling process. And this gentle cooling is actually essential because it's what allows the minerals to stabilise and then settle into a more cohesive mass. If this had been rapid cooling, like what we see with minerals like obsidian, for example, we'd probably experience fractures or perhaps a less uniform appearance. Whereas slow cooling, on the other hand, ensures that smoother and more luxurious solid final product that we all love and seemingly don't know how to pronounce. Now, Laddis is actually only mined in a handful of different countries. The most important is going to be Afghanistan, where most of it comes from. And it's been mined in this country for about 7,300 years, which is absolutely mental. But, to a lesser extent, it also occurs naturally in Chile, Russia, and the western United States, most notably California. And when they're mining it, miners are quite careful when they extract this material from the earth, and it's often characterised by rugged terrains or underground mines. Once extracted, the rough stone undergoes cutting, polishing, and shaping to reveal its very wonderful royal blue colour. And this final stage brings out that beautiful hue that we all know and love and still can't pronounce. Let me know in the comments the kind of minerals, crystals and precious metals you'd like me to cover next.